YouTube, welcome back to my channel, and it is Cybercraft here, which is aka Ben the Gamer. I'm um, here today, uh, no coding today, well I haven't done a coding video yet, but uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how to print um, stuff on the XYZ. 3D printer DaVinci Junior 1.0, but this should work for other printers by XYZ Printing. Uh, but the Junior is what I'm familiar with because that's the one I have. If you hear it in the background, that is what I have a print going. So I won't be able to show you guys how, but I can explain. I can. Uh, I will show you a. Um. One second, guys. I'm just going to search uh, XYZ Printing Da Vinci uh, Junior Junior 1.0 1.0 videos um, no images sorry about that How, sorry about this guys but um, I want an interior one Interior. I know that's not how you spell it, but whatever. So, zoomed in. Sorry for this. Zoomed. It. Hi. It's hard to see, but right. See where the LCD screen where my mouse is right there. Okay, I'm just gonna go to AliExpress. I guess. Okay, click image to see expanded view. Perfect. We're getting plus, 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 plus. Ooh, ah, this is AliExpress does a nice job. Just gonna zoom in really a lot. Click. So, right there, guys, is, um, so you see that LCD screen right there? Let me just zoom in 100%. Okay, guys, this is uh, insanely a lot of pixels, but that's where the LCD screen is. It's not focusing on the website because I'm zooming in so much. So that's the LCD screen, and that's the, all the buttons. So right on top of there, when you you have to have the lid open. So if you go back, if I go back to the LCD screen here, so above that. Like on the white part, as you can see, like right where the black cursor is, right? Like along that top, not on the bed, but along the top of the covering for the LCD screen, there's an SD slot. You insert your SD card into there. And then you um, press build from card. And then you'll see your print if you upload it correctly. So now to uploading it onto the SD card. So you're going to want to go open XYZWare. If you don't have it, I will leave a link in the description um, for uh, a link in the description for getting it. Uh, you'll have to sign up for an account, but um, yeah, I can sign up if uh, you know what. I'll try and get it without you guys having to register. Um, I'll just try, but you may have to register depending on uh, if it asks you to. All right, so let's get started. So, if you ever heard of Thingiverse, you're gonna want to go there. All right. Um, by the way, it doesn't matter if you're on Mac or Windows; it's all pretty much the same. I will have download to Windows and Mac for XYZ printing um, the software. So all you're going to need to do, open up your internet browser, and search and go to Thingiverse, thingiverse.com. I'll have this in the description, so don't worry. It's for MakerBots. Those are so expensive. See that? That's amazing about MakerBot. But those are a few thousand dollars, so I don't have the money. Well, I don't. I, I do, but it's not worth it when I could get a three dollar, three hundred fifty dollar one. If you guys want me to put a Link in the description where I got my free fat shipping and no tax. I will leave it in the description. So, yeah, if you want to buy one. So, 
let's say I want to uh, I want to do a car, so I would press car. Now, uh, Lambo. I'm gonna search up for a Lambo. Lambo. Lambo gate. I. Uh, I guess I could just do this one. I'm not going to actually print it. I'm just going to get ready so to show you. So, if you could you could do thing view and you could do it like you're in the software, but this is a uh, remember this is for MakerBot, but it works the same. Download the thing. So, make sure it's .stl or else you won't be able to open it. If it's .3w, great. You could upload that already to your SD. So, um, click it, and it will download. So, if you have, um, if you have, uh, XYZWare installed, then it will, uh, automatically launch up when you click it, XYZWare. Uh, if it's too big, hit, um, resize. If it says out of boundary, please resize, remove objects. So, you're going to want to click this button, this move button and press land and that will land it and it will fix it uh... to move it you have to use the x y and z axis so that's the only annoying thing about it um, you could also resize it by this boom 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 but you would have to so yeah and uh... you can deselect and click it you can uh, rotate it like i'm doing right here click Hold and click the ball, and you can do insane things. Let's say you have, you want to print it like that, which I don't know why you would, but you probably need support, and it won't be as good if you just leave it on the ground. So, um, yeah. Then, when you're done, I'm just going to rotate, reset it. Okay. Then, you're going to want to click this button. So, I'm just going to put the size down so it doesn't take as long to export. I'm going to make it tiny, that big, and I need to move it, because I suggest when it's, try and center it, Depend, try and center it as much as you can. So, on this little toolbar, you have settings, la, 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 la. if you're plugged in, you'll have this feature right here, but I'm not plugged in since I use an SD card, so I like the SD card, because this disconnects a lot. So, click the button, second uh, to the left, then click, and then press advanced settings. You can do 90% of solid, you know. Um, I suggest fast. Fast is, in, is like the regular speed on a MakerBot, so select fast. It's a really good one. I made a profile. You just hit add, and then you create a profile. Or you like, let's say you want a 90% solid. I'm going to make this the um, support density. Um, this, let's just say this is the, um, uh, this is, um, um, 90%, 90% infill, you don't have to name it like that, but, and then regular 5% is 5%, you can do 10%, I like 5% because I do a lot of prints, I'm just going to change this to 2 and this is my recommendation for settings but if you're doing something that like a cup I suggest 20% to 90% do not do hollow unless you're doing a ginormous print that you do not have to put do not have to put liquids in it so study this for a second to de I'll show you how to determine if you need a raft or support brim don't worry about that I don't know I, I know what a brim is but you know I don't you don't need it so Study this and put it in tiers. You could do any percent of info, but the rest of it, I suggest for layer height, two, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. I suggest 0 0.2. Remember, speed has to be fast. Shell should be standard, support density, low, or depending on how high it is that the support needs to be filled in, uh, determine how much. And brim, 10%, but we're not 10, I mean, we're not using it, so... So I'm going to show you how to determine if you need support. So let's say you had, uh, let me think about what needs support, guys. Give me a second. Let's say you're making a, uh, 
a triangle that was hollow in the middle and there was no things to do it. I mean, yeah, it could do it, but I suggest putting supports. Like, let's say you have a big gap in between it and, like, a 3D pen could just go there, but you can pause it by, because you're controlling it, but 3D printer doesn't know to pause it, so you're going to want to have to put supports if you have a big gap. Let's say you have a triangle like that, and there's a ginormous gap in the middle, like that, a big of a gap, then you would put supports on. But that makes it a longer print and more filming. So just determine. Hit export. Uh, give it a minute. Give it a few minutes, depending on the print. If it doesn't go, do Command Q or uh, Windows Key Plus, I believe, or Windows. Okay, it's already done. So you would just select Lamborghini. You would just do whatever you want here and select your SD card. I'm not putting my SD card because I'm in the middle of a print. So let's just say this remote disk is my, you know what, let's just say WinZip now. Let's just say uh, WinZip is it. No, because I need WinZip. Roblox player number works. Okay, so Roblox player. Let's say that's my disk name, right? That's not. But you would have to insert your SD card to your computer. And you would select it there. Then you would hit save, and it would be safe. Then you take your SD card and insert it into your 3D printer by opening up the lid and finding the SD card slot should be above the LCD screen cover. And you should see a little slot. Insert your um, SD card, the words facing you, metal plates facing the bed. Insert it. Then go on your menu or turn on your printer. Go in your menu. Select um, build from SD, hit OK. Then what you would want to do is um, press build from card. You may see your um, uh, thing, thingy majiggy. Sorry about that. I said thingy majiggy. But um, just make sure. Uh, and then you'll see your print and then hit OK on the print you want to do and then it will say are you sure and then you would select yes or no so yeah check out my other videos i just started my channel i have how to adjust that z axis on the xyz printing 3d printer davinci jr 1.0 how to get the zoom in option in minecraft like youtubers how to tell if you have windows or mac you can probably obviously know that if you're doing this if you're watching this video but for newbies that's what i did but um so, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, comment good um, things. If you comment inappropriately or rude to me, I will report to you. So please do not do that. I do not want to have to report you because I like to be nice. But if you're not being nice, I have the right. So thank you for watching. Sorry about that little thing that I said about uh, rude comments. But if you say, like, something rude that's not offensive, you know, I won't report you. But if it's funny or something, it's fine. Um, but, you know, I'll give you a second chance, so don't worry. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching.